Welcome back to another video. I'm so glad that you're here. Today I am going to show you how I completed this piece that you see here before me and we're going to go through the whole journey of this piece from the beginning sketches all the way down to the final burn. Let's get started. Hello again. My name is Amanda. I am the artist behind Elixir Art and I do not really have an accent. For those of you who do not know, but I like the way that the English accent sounds, so sometimes that's how I talk. Take it or leave it. it, doesn't matter to me. But if anybody from the UK or from England has any tips on how I can improve my accent, I welcome that. <laughs> so anyway, as I said, my name is Amanda for anybody who is new to the channel, or for those of you who are returning, welcome. I have been wood burning for about six years. When I first started, I was not any good, but over those six years, I have been experimenting with wood burning as a medium and trying to figure out how I want to use it in my art. Originally, this project was supposed to be a layered art piece with a big cutout tree in the center and a little bench as well. But the more I added to the piece, the more I didn't want to cover up all of the details, and I was really enjoying experimenting with wood burning. For instance, in this clip you see I'm using the side of the skew tip to create those wider marks, and then you can go in with the fine point of it to create these fine lines. So there's really a lot that you can do with wood burning, and I've seen some pretty amazing pieces of art that are created using this medium. So this is my attempt at creating something with depth, something that evoked emotion, something with a lot of contrast, and some place from my imagination. I worked off of a few reference images that I found on Pinterest, and the rest of it was purely imagination, which made this piece a real joy to create. So I am actually a self-taught artist. I never took any formal training for art, drawing, painting, any of it really. So there are times when I struggle with creating artwork. For this piece in particular, I struggled when it came to putting the details on this house. As you can see, my sketch is very vague. There aren't a whole lot of marks that go onto the wood before I start burning. and. Part of the reason for that is because I really am impatient when it comes to sketching. Um, once the idea is alive in my head, I am eager to just pick up my wood burning pen and get all of the details out. Where that becomes a problem though is when I don't have a full understanding of what I want the piece to look like, and I feel like that's an area that I could really work on as an artist. One of the more successful aspects of this piece, in my opinion, is how these trees came out. So as you can see, I've switched over to the spoon shader tip and am just using it to lightly push into the wood uh, with varying degrees of pressure and time to create light and dark marks to convey the idea of foliage on these trees. And I really like how these came out, although... I did still struggle with understanding light and tones and values because I knew or I had an idea 
of where I wanted the light to be coming from in this image, but I was never 100% sure of how that light would play on the various elements in this piece. But ultimately, I was really happy with how these trees came out. I felt like I did okay at conveying a sense of depth with shading on these trees. I was happy with how delicately I was able to shade the trees in the distant background. Rocks are like my nemesis, kind of. So, yeah, rocks. Some people struggle with drawing hands, and I'm not saying I'm an expert at hands, but compared to rocks, hands are a breeze. I really struggle with wrapping my mind around the complex nature of rocks. They just capture light in such a distinct and just unique way that it makes it really hard for me to understand a good way to draw them in a way that accurately conveys their meaning. So for this piece, I leaned into that really heavily and decided that I was going to draw as many rocks as I could to get practice with trying to draw them in a way that made sense to me and to the viewer. Throughout the course of making this piece, I went back and forth with the idea of adding color to it. Sometimes I do add color to my wood burning pieces, but as I kept adding more and more detail, it just seemed like this was a piece that really needed to let the wood burning shine, which is not something that I normally do, but I really felt like was important for this piece. So. In the end, I'm happy with my decision not to add color to this piece, so I really think it challenged me in a new way, and it makes me look forward to further experiments with using wood burning on its own to create a more compelling piece of art. So initially I thought I was done with the piece at this point, but after a few days of looking at it, I decided that I wanted to go in and add more detail. And this is kind of what I meant earlier by experimenting with adding values and contrast and depth to a piece. Because wood burning relies heavily on the skills that you learn uh, while drawing. and. Those are skills that I have not really developed over the past six years. So I really tried to do my best to create a piece that was very dynamic and had a lot of contrast. And in the end, I'm really happy with how it turned out. So this was easily my favorite part of this project, was creating these really dark silhouetted leaves in the foreground of this image. One, because the smoke that comes off of them is really satisfying, and two, because I'm usually afraid to add too much contrast to a piece, but adding these leaves made all the difference, and I'm so glad that I didn't listen to the little voice in my head that said, what if you ruin it? I quickly shoved that little voice aside and picked up my wood burner, turned it up to eight, and had a ball. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really happy with my decision to go ahead and trust the process. And now for the part of this project that I was dreading, 
the entire time I was creating it. This little bench. I cut out the bench on my CNC and here you can see I'm cleaning it up with a razor and a craft knife to get some of the rougher edges off. And then after that was done, it was time to wood burn it. And again, this is where I struggled with understanding how the light would interact with this bench. So I did my best and ultimately I think it came out okay, but I think this is really an area that I need to practice in the hopes of being able to create more intricate and detailed pieces. But that's gonna do it for this voiceover. Let's just sit and enjoy the music, and in a little while, I'll come back with my English accent to wish you all goodbye. Thank you so much for hanging out to the end of this video. I am so glad that you decided to spend your time with me today and I hope that you enjoyed seeing the process of this piece being completed. I will have more videos like this coming up soon on my channel. Actually, the next project that I hope to share with you is my puzzle project that I'm very much excited about and can't wait to share with the world. So, if you're interested, please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already and hit that little like button so that people know that this video is good and that YouTube will show it to other people and more people can hopefully find the benefits from Elixir Art. So, I really enjoyed your company today and I look forward to the next time that I get to see you. Until then, take care.